10 Most Unusual and Coolest Smartphones The majority of smartphones today can be switched out. Although each new version has stronger hardware, more advanced processing, and a better camera, they all essentially perform the same functions. Generally speaking, phones have evolved into platforms for executing applications. The phone itself is merely a container for texting and surfing through numerous social media feeds. You would likely pick the wrong phone if you and your pals all threw their phones on a table and then tried to pick theirs out of the stack without first looking at them. This is how cut and paste phone designs work nowadays. These 10 phones are an excellent place to start if you're looking for a truly distinctive phone experience. You might need to explore a little further than your neighborhood wireless operator. Number 10. LG Wing Although home and workplace PCs are increasingly using dual monitors, smartphones typically only have one screen. Turning to your phone can feel a little bit like having one hand tied behind your back if you're used to using many computer displays, each with its applications running. Except when utilizing the LG Wing, it appears to be a typical smartphone at first appearance, albeit slightly thicker. But, the main panel can be rotated 90 degrees with the flick of a thumb to expose a second, smaller screen underneath. The potential is great when you can suddenly do two things at once. When you read through Twitter, send memes in the group chat, or respond to emails on the secondary screen, you may watch Netflix or YouTube on the major screen. Number 9. Asus Tablet Phone As compared to its contemporaries, the Pad Phone wasn't particularly innovative, and given that it was released more than 10 years ago, it certainly pales in comparison to contemporary smartphones. Some of the design decisions, as stated by Engadget, made it feel like a plastic toy when it ought to have felt like a durable piece of technology. Its distinctive capacity to dock into a bigger tablet was where it excelled. The Pad Phone combined two popular technologies into one to provide the best of both worlds for a society that is constantly flipping between phone and computer screens. The phone has a hole in the back that allows it to slip into a tablet that goes with it or be used independently. The phone then functioned as the brains of a bigger gadget, and the tablet display was automatically switched to fit the phone's user interface. Number 8. Sony Ericsson's Peria Play It's surprising to learn that fewer firms have tried to create a phone that doubles as a potent gaming device given the prevalence of mobile game play, which is projected to be 2.6 billion people, according to EarthWeb. Having said that, Sony is the firm most likely to succeed in doing so. Perhaps the scarcity of smartphones with powerful gaming capabilities is because many people choose to keep such activities apart or are simply waiting for the ideal device to appear. With the launch of this period play in 2012, Sony Ericsson was thought to have created that gadget that aimed to bridge the gap between a smartphone and a portable PlayStation. The device resembled a technological hybrid of the T-Mobile Sidekick and a PSP after sliding the screen upward to show the controller button arrangement. Number 7. Fairphone In the past, accessing your phone to repair or replace a component was quite simple. But as time has gone by, the casings of our mobile devices have become increasingly secure and impenetrable. Of course, there are advantages, one of which is that dust and moisture have a tougher time entering. But if something does go wrong, you'll typically need to submit your phone to the manufacturer for repair or replace it completely. By providing an accessible modular phone, the Fairphone bucks this trend. Because they are modular, internal parts may be simply replaced as they become worn or broken, saving you from having to replace your entire phone. It provides an alternative that may be more cost-effective and less wasteful than what is now offered. Number 6. Siemens Zalibri one of the strangest phones ever made is the Zelibri 6. Looking at it reveals something that in no way resembles a phone. The clamshell shape is more like the awesome e-reader from It Follows or a makeup compact. The phone included two mirrors, one of which was magnifying, allowing it to function, at least in part, as a beauty accessory. The phone was advertised as a hybrid communication device and fashion piece. George Appling, the founder of Zelibri, anticipated a time when people would own a variety of telephone-equipped fashion accessories and would be able to select the one that best complemented their daily attire or mood via mobile phone museum. He might have vastly miscalculated our desire to purchase a variety of phones. Number 5 Point The Yoda phone was released at a time when the smartphone industry was seeing rapid innovation. Manufacturers were pondering how we may maximize the functionality of these devices we always carried with us after smartphones had been around for 10 years. 
Its invention gave rise to the Yoda phone, which, though it didn't last long on the market, might have an alternate reality. With a 720% full-color LCD screen, the Yoda phone resembled its contemporaries from the front. The rest of its specifications, including its processor and 12MP camera, were about as good as you could anticipate given that it was released in 2013. The unexpected part came when you did the opposite. Number 4. Switching on Hubble Pwn After several failed attempts and the declaration of bankruptcy, the business made one last at least for now attempt to release a phone in 2018, and it was a doozy. The three-screen clamshell design of the Hubble Pwn, which was named after the renowned space telescope, allowed for the swiveling out in different directions of one of the screens. It could be utilized in a variety of configurations, including those that resembled a laptop and a portable video camera because of its distinctive design. It also has a fairly absurd number of high-end features, such as mobile game console capability, artificial reality, and AI, to mention a few. Number 3. Xperia Pro I from Sony One of the main selling points of any new smartphone is an improvement in photography quality, with most phones touting higher megapixel counts as a standout feature. That makes sense given that social media demands that we capture every part of our life and that photography is a key component of how we do so. Yet, a lot of the photos we upload online have been altered in some way, and phone makers have capitalized on this. While the hardware camera's capacity to capture light and detail has improved, processing software still makes it simple to make changes to your photographs with tools like night mode and built-in filters. The Xperia Pro I adopts a different strategy. Number 2. Lenovo C+. The Lenovo C+, is currently simply a prototype, and given that it was only revealed in 2016, it very well may stay that way. It pushes the aesthetic boundaries of the relatively new interest in bendable phones. When set up normally, it resembles a typical smartphone, although one that is a touch gangly. The series of ridges down the back, each of which acts as an articulation point, is the secret to its distinctive design. The phone curls into an object that resembles the letter C when bent at those location, hence the name. It's sufficient to cause the phone to form on your wrist in the manner of vintage slap bracelets. Phone Radar claims that before the prototype could be placed on store shelves, some issues needed to be fixed. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy Beam The Galaxy brand of smartphones from Samsung has a well-known history and has been a fixture in the mobile phone industry for more than 10 years. The Samsung Galaxy Beam was created in 2012 after the firm decided to take a chance and add a built-in projector to the top of the phone. The Beam offers the capability to transport video from your phone to a wall or projector screen before it was simple to cast content to your TV. With the right applications, watching videos or looking at pictures may quickly turn into a shared activity between the office and the home. Although not movie theater grade, the projector's 640x360 pixels were nonetheless a fun addition and suitable for a wide range of uses, from the workplace to your weekend gatherings. Despite this, the Beam only drew a modest crowd. How did you like the video? Do you like it? Leave your valuable comments in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube.